Welcome back to Cheesy Dads. Before we dive into the first impression of the XP Mini, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and join the QC Dads family where we look at tech from a dad's unbiased viewpoint. All right, so today I got something interesting for you guys. I recently picked up the XP Mini and I just want to give you guys the lowdown on this little guy. All right, first things first, let's talk about the build quality. It feels really light. Um, I wouldn't say that it feels cheap, but I do feel like a tad bit more weight uh, would have given it a premium touch. The buttons, they actually feel really good to press. They have this satisfying feedback and it kind of reminds me of the MacBook Pro buttons. All right, so the scroll wheel, I, I feel like I could spin this guy around all day. It has this, this clickety tactile sound to it uh, and, and it feels really good, but it's really sad because with this unit, that's you know where the hiccups really started to kind of take place when I tried to set this guy up with Final Cut Pro. Um, if I had to put it in words, it's kind of where the roller coaster actually began with this unit. So customizing the shortcuts on this un unit just didn't, it didn't seem to work as expected. No matter what I try to do, it just kind of stays stuck in zoom mode. I was trying to get it to move to scroll mode. Um, even with that said, even with the buttons on the unit, um, the shortcuts just didn't work the way that I wanted them to, to, to. And, you know, just, it just didn't cooperate with me. And you know, here, here's the kicker: the the button on the scroll wheel. There's a button here uh, on the scroll wheel. If you press this button, you can almost guarantee that the program is is going to crash. Um, especially, and I don't know if it's for Final Cut Pro, but I will say if you're looking to buy this for Final Cut Pro, uh, you, you may want to proceed with caution. Now I actually updated my Final Cut Pro to 10.7. It just came out a few days ago and I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is the issue. Maybe this will fix it because the software I downloaded, I think I had a date of November and right now we're here in December. So I thought that would fix it, but it did not. Um, just to kind of give you a heads up, I am running a M1, M1, yeah, M1, uh, Max. It's so hard to say that, but an M1 Max on my 14 inch MacBook Pro. And I haven't updated to Sonoma yet. I'm still in Ventura. And, you know, I feel like I've been burnt before with these updates. So I kind of just give it some time before I update it. It just came out in September. So I, I may try to update before the end of the year. And, you know, while we're on the topic of updates, um, if you're kind of on the fence uh, to update to Sonoma, and my advice is hold hold your horses. Don't update yet. Um, I feel like these updates can sometimes stir up the uh, what I would like to call the hornet's nest, if that makes sense. Uh, you start to have these hardware issues. So um, I would just say proceed with caution, like I mentioned a little bit earlier. All right. So here here is my conclusion, uh, I guess, of my first impression of the XP pin mini i feel like this unit definitely has potential particularly at its uh, price point compared to things like the loop deck um but you know just using it um it's it's had a bit of a, a rocky start uh and right now the issues have not been resolved i have been communicating with customer support uh, but right now i w would say that i'm just kind of like a crossroads with this device yeah, but I feel like this this device, it, it, it definitely has promise, um, particularly at the price point, uh, like I mentioned. Uh, but I feel like the software itself uh, just needs some TLC. Um, but yeah, that is my honest take on the XP Pen Mini so far. But yeah, if you have any questions or if you're facing similar issues with the XP Pen Mini, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, if you are enjoying the content here on QC Dads, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thank you again for tuning in and we will catch you in the next one. And as I would 
always say is stay tuned and most importantly, stay subscribed.